Hey y'all, it's Umpi Create here, and I'm back with another highly requested tutorial. It is a ruffle sunny head video, and I'm in love with how the mesh part came out. This is one of my favorite hats due to the fact that it is breathable through the mesh. So I am here to walk you through this pattern and I believe we should not waste any more time and get started. I will be using this orange and pink yarns. They are from a brand called Sparkle Yarn. It is made out of 85% cotton and 15% polyester. It requires one to use a 3mm hook but I will be using a 4mm hook because I will be doubling the strands. The other required tools are a measuring tape, a pair of scissors, as well as a tapestry needle. You are allowed to use any kind for as long as it will get the job done. Let me decide on which color to start with. I think I'll go with the orange one and probably somewhere in the middle I will use the pink one. Let me pull out the two ends of the strands to double them. Oh, what you can also do is have two balls of orange yarn and pull one end on each and double the strands instead of pulling two strands from one ball like I am currently doing. So since I'll be working in rounds, I'll start by making a magic circle. If you don't know how to make a magic circle, there's a lot of tutorials here on YouTube on how to do it. I advise you check them out. Once your circle is ready, make two chains. One, two. Then make 12 double crochet into the magic circle. Please take note of the fact that the first two chains do not count as a stitch. So this is our first double crochet. Pull two, pull two. And then do your second double crochet. Then we'll do our third double crochet. And so forth. Continue doing this up until you have 12 double crochet in the magic circle. This is excluding the first two chains that we started with. What I also wanted to share with you is that when your yarn is thicker, your project goes quicker. It ends up using less yarn. This is the reason why I've decided to double my strands uh, because I was not willing to sit forever while making this head. Once you have your 12 double crochet, close the circle tight by pulling the strands. Then insert your hook into the first stitch you made, which is on top of the two chains we made. Do a slip stitch there and pull through. We start the second row by making two chains. So one, two. And then we're gonna do the first two double crochet in the same space we did those two chains. This is an increase. So this is an increase round. So in each stitch, we'll be doing double crochets and we'll end up with a total of 24 double crochet. Since as well, the previous round, we had 12 double crochet. So you're going to make two double crochet in each stitch. Continue until you get to the end of the round. Now we are going to close our round by putting our hook in the first stitch and do a slip stitch there. We are moving on to the third round. Do two chains. One, two. Then do two double crochet in the same space where you did your slip stitch. This is equivalent to an increase. Then after, do a double crochet in the next stitch. And then followed by an increase, which is equivalent to two double crochet in the same stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Then an increase. Continue doing this up until you get to the end of the round. So let's close off the round with a slip stitch at the top of the two chains. Then we'll be moving to round four. Make two chains. Then we're going to do an increase in the same space. 
This is equivalent to two double crochet in the same stitch. We will always have to do an increase every time we start a new round of the two chains. Then do two double crochet on separate stitches. One, two. Then it will be followed by an increase. Then we do two double crochets on separate stitches. Then we do the second double crochet, then an increase. Repeat until the end of the round. So secure the round by doing a slip stitch. I am going to take my tape measure and see how long my diameter is. We need a diameter of seven inches. So, so far, let's see, we have four inches and we still need to do a few more increasing rounds so that we can reach our required diameter of seven. So I'll continue doing the rounds offline. Do the same, pause the video and do your increases. I'll leave the counting of rounds somewhere on the screen for you to continue by yourself. So let me count the rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can recheck. So we have a diameter of seven inches. Remember, this can be adjusted depending on your head circumference. This is just the standard technique used most times. We are moving on to the body of the head. The first round of the body will require no increases. So start with two chains, then a double crochet in the same space then double crochet in the rest of the stitches so basically you need to make one double crochet in each stitch up until you get to the end of the round this part will be followed by rounds of rows that will form part of the mesh the part that is much breathable and at the same time gives the hair a beautiful look we have reached the end of the round let's do our slip stitch we can already see that the head has start, started forming shape and bending a bit, so I've decided to add the pink color now. The of mix in the colors, and this means at some point I have to cut the one strand, strand of the orange and join the pink one. So this is the pink yarn I'll be using. Because I already have the orange ruffle sunny head, I'm somehow forced to make a different version of it. So I'll just play around with color and be hopeful that the outcome will be good or even better than I can imagine. Let me pull one end of the strand on this pink yarn so that I can be able to join it with the orange yarn. Let me see. Let me take my pair of scissors and cut one strand. Um, this is how I join my strands. Um, if you know the term for this specific method, please drop it in the comment section below. I know with this technique my head will not unravel and it becomes more secure. Even if I decide to wash my head at any given point in time, I know it will still be intact. So this is just one method that I prefer every time I, may, I join my yarns. So yeah, let me take my scissors and make this even. This is not really necessary for you to do, but I just wanted to cut it and have them on the same height. We move to the second round of the body. Make two chains, then do double crochet in the same space. So one double crochet in the same space, not two, just one. Then chain one, skip one stitch, then double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one stitch, then double crochet into the next stitch. Follow the same pattern up until you get to the end of the round. Your round will end up with a chain. Slip stitch at the top of the two chains so that you can close off your round then chain two make a double crochet in the same space chain one after 
then do your double crochet on top of the previous double crochet chain one do a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous round chain one do a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous round chain one then double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous round you're gonna continue doing this up until the end of the round we are at the end of the third round so we need to continue following the same pattern for the mesh part or the body of the head so we need to do a few more rounds until we have a body that measures four inches remember the first round of the body is the one with solid double crochet with no spaces so continue like this until we meet again when we recheck our with our tape measure so now let's take our measuring tape and see if we have the right inches Yes, we do have four inches and I'm happy with the length and I can also mention that I'm loving the color So now we can start working on the brim of the head first round of the brim We're going to chain two then do a double crochet in the same space then on two the chain one space make two double crochet like in that space where you made one chain do two double crochet like this is also equivalent to an increase then on top of the double crochet from the last chain do a double crochet like one double crochet and then in the chain one space two double crochet basically an increase so for the whole of this round it's one double crochet and then on the one chain space you're going to do your increase so it's increase one double crochet increase one one double cross crochet increase one double crochet up until the end of the round this would take longer than you would expect probably 10 to 15 minutes depending on your pacing and at this point my fingers are actually hitting and i've been at this for the past hour or one hour 30 minutes also to get to where i am right now but we hold on because at the end of the day i want to continue working at the same on the same tension or at the same ten tension so yeah let's continue up until we get to the end of this round and we are going to close that round with a slip stitch then second round chain two then double crochet in the same space then we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch basically we're doing an increase so one and then and then now we're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch which is an increase and then into the next stitch we're going to do three double crochet two three then we start again and do one double crochet into the next stitch and then into the next stitch we are going to do two double crochets one another one and then the next stitch we are going to do three double crochets this forms waves and it will give us the ruffles that we need for the head so follow the same pattern of doing one double crochet in a stitch two double crochet into the next one then three double crochet into the third stitch we are at the end of the round so let's close it with a slip stitch then we're going to chain two then so far we have two rounds of increases then we need to add two more rounds in order to finish our head the remaining rounds require no increases at all so you can continue by yourself and do two rounds of no increase and i'll meet you at the end of it so i'm here at the end of the round and i'm closing off with a slip stitch i can honestly say that i'm loving this color scheme and the ruffles are looking good and only now i can say i wish i had started the head with the color mix but it is okay 
Uh, other than that, the hat looks stunning, and I couldn't be more happier than the fact that I'll get to wear one of my own work. You can play around with the ruffles and size them accordingly. You are more than welcome to do an extra round of no increase if you want your brim to be longer to cover more of your face just above your eyelids. The ruffles will still look the same. Also remember that you can adjust the size of the base of the head by reducing the diameter. You can make it 6 or 5 inches. If that's all dependent on the head circumference. Let me take my scissors and finish off the head and sew in the ends. Continue watching and see how I do the perfect swimming. I'm not going to be able to explain it, but you will get it if you continue watching. Don't forget to also sew the top of the head on the inside so that it, it doesn't open up over time. So continue and see how I do my perfect finish. Let me know if there's anything that I've missed or that you would want to know about this head on the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond as soon as I get a chance. So this is the final look. I'm loving this set and I can't wait to wear it outside on a sunny day. I hope everyone managed to follow through and will get a chance to recreate and share with me. You are more than welcome to tag me on Instagram and show off your color combinations or even if you use one color that's perfectly fine with me. I am definitely working this one soon. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or even tell me what else you would like to see on my channel. Thank you.